Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, new course on basic electrical training. Basic electrical training course will primarily focus on some of the fundamentals relating to electrical trade, primarily in terms of some of the tools, equipments, connections and some of the essential aspects of electrical trade. In this video, we will try and understand some of the tools that we commonly use. The first tool is called a screwdriver. This is a very common tool that is used in the electrical trade and this is a screwdriver that you can uh, twist on both sides and use it in different points for different types of screws. For example, this is a flat screwdriver which you can place it on a flat head like this and use it to tighten the screw and you need to hold it from top so that you can apply some pressure on it when you are opening or uh, when you are removing or when you are tightening a screw. So, this way you will be able to exert pressure and ensure that the screw fits in properly. When you turn it around, it becomes a star screwdriver. This is commonly called as a Phillips screw head uh, screwdriver. Uh, typically, this has four points in it and you can use the Phillips screw head to try and open screws which have a uh, Phillips screw head on top. So, different types of screwdrivers are used in the uh, um, electrical trade. This screwdriver is an insulated screwdriver primarily because you are working on electrical line. You will need something which will protect you from electrical shock in case if you touch the screw point by mistake. So, you will get a lot of these insulated screwdrivers for the electrical trade. So, depending on the need, the screwdrivers are in different sizes and you can use it accordingly. This is a tester. This is a common tool that is used in the electrical trade. Every electrician must have a tester with him or her. And this tester is used to test whether there is power supply that is coming in at a particular power point. For example, in order to test it here, you place it on the face side of the plug point and you will be able to see a light on it which indicates that the power supply is happening. Now, while you are using the tester, you need to ensure that you hold it on the other end so that it completes the entire circuit between the face and the earthing and you will be able to test whether there is power supply coming in at a particular point. Another tool that we commonly use is called as a scale. Scale is a measuring tool that is used to measure distances or lengths. This usually comes in centimeters or inches. Typically, uh, you will see on one side the centimeters are mentioned, on the other side the inches are mentioned. Uh, another video will detail you or give you a lot more details about centimeters, inches and different types of systems such as MKS and FPS system. But for now, you suffice sufficient to understand that this is a scale. This is an Allen key. Allen key set comes in different forms. It is also called as hex key and this is used to open any particular screws which have hexagonal heads on top. And this Allen key is called Allen key because it was manufactured by Allen Manufacturing Company. Uh, commonly, it is also called as a hex key. As you can see, you know, it has a very six, six uh, sides in it and you can use the Allen key to open such screw heads which have six sides in it and that is why it is called a hex key set. They again come in different sizes. The next tool is called a screw gauge. A screw gauge is used to measure the thickness of the wires. This is commonly required when you are doing motor winding in the electrical trade. So, in order to measure the thickness of wires, you can keep the wire between these two points and use the tool to measure it. This is commonly uh, um, done in millimeters or micromillimeters. So, you place the wire in between uh, the two measurement points just as you see it on the screen here and then you can tighten it. And once you tighten it from the other side, you turn it around and at the point where it directly meets it is exactly where the measurement is taken. So, this is a screw gauge. Uh, the second next tool that we will see is a scissor. Scissor is commonly used to cut things. You may need to use it to cut out uh, small wires, very thin wires or even paper while doing motor winding. This is an adjustable spanner. Adjustable spanner is primarily used to open any of the uh, uh, nuts. Uh, so, you typically can adjust the mouth of the spanner for the necessary size and then you can use this spanner to open the um, nut and bolt from any of the electrical items. So, this is the adjustable spanner. Similarly, there are other tools. Uh, this is an oil can. Oil can is commonly used to oil anything. For example, when you are repairing a, uh, 
pan or any movable part, you may need to put some oil in it. These are spanners, these are commonly called as open ended spanners. Open ended spanners are again used to open any of the nuts or bowls that you will be working on uh, while you are working on the electrical trade. This again comes in multiple sizes and depending on the size, you may want to use the correct size spanner while you are working on electrical tools. This spanner is called as a pipe spanner, uh, essentially it has a, a pipe kind of structure but can be used to open nuts and bowls the same way we use the open ended spanner. In order to use this, we will use a small um, steel pipe which is placed in the hole and used to open the uh, nuts or bowls. The next tool is a drill machine. Drill machine is a common tool used to make holes in the walls or in wooden um, boards in order to uh, open the drill bit. So, the top end is called a drill bit. Drill bit comes in different sizes. So, in order to open the drill bit, you use a small key to unloosen it or loosen the uh, uh, drill bit and then you can replace it with different size drill bits depending on how much thickness uh, you want to uh, have, how much thickness you want the hole that you want to make to be. So, this is how you tighten it up again and you can pick up these drill bits in different sizes in the market depending on your requirement. And in order to uh, use the uh, drill machine, you plug it in into the main power supply and this is a small button placed uh, where you can keep your hand and as you can see, this will operate the drill machine. Apart from this, there is another tool called adjustable plier. Uh, this looks like a parrot, but you basically can move the thickness uh, up and down to increase the size or to reduce the size that you want to hold. So, this is again used to open nuts and bowls while you are working on the electrical trade. So, these are some of the common tools that are used in the electrical trade. In the next video, we will continue understanding some of the other tools that are placed in front of you and on the screen. Thank you very much.